Let's go get them again. Here I have my very first bottle of the brand of Adis the Venusus. I always wanted the original fragrance from this brand. Back in 2012, they released a fragrance um, that had the note of rhubarb in it, and the nose behind it was De Chafour. Um, from then on, I really wanted that bottle. Still haven't purchased it, so I, I gotta keep my eye on that original bottle. I still want that fragrance. Never smelt it, but very much interested in that release. I'm looking at this one as my very first bottle of the brand here. Um, this one called Musk Insensé. Let's see what it has in store for me. Let's go. Fragrance family, welcome to the Rope Zoe channel. I'm your host, Mark. Today we're unboxing and giving a first impression on Musk and a sauce from the brand of Adis de Venustis. So this was a 2018 release. I always like the look of these bottles, so I can't wait to actually unbox it, uh, this one right here, and actually see one of their bottles. So I always like the look of them. And today I'm finally unboxing one, very interested. It looks like it's a velvet box. So very nice uh, presentation already. Haven't smelt this one, so this is blind. I don't know what to expect here with the name, of course, I'm looking at musk and incense as the primary notes. We'll see if I'm right. Let's unbox. All right, time to unbox Musk Insensé. And as you can see, they have their uh, little logo sticker at the top uh, to show that it's a authentic product. I like when brands do that. And uh, this has like the velvet boxes, um, like uh, Dolce Cabana uh, put online. Don't know how these open. I'm assuming it's like this. Yes, it is. Um, so I don't know about that presentation, but it's a good looking good looking bottle gotta admit and i think the cap goes like that nice detail to it a uh, beautiful bottles um again it is the venusis is a, a shop in new york um they got kind of in the in the fragrance game as far as releasing their own releases kind of like uh, min new york uh did they follow kind of the footsteps of, of this brand so Let's delve into it. This is one of their later releases, 2018. Let's see how much incense and musk I get out of this one. Atomizers, okay. Hmm. Mm. Not too wild about this one, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Creamy. Um, uh, creamy, soapy, clean, has a little bit of an herbal green take. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. It's got a good clary sage note in here that kind of gives it a little bit of personality, but it's very gray as a color, very musky um comes off as very clean almost like a white musk more than anything not very animalic not you know no spice no resins here um that incense at least off the strip i'm getting nothing um almost almond like creaminess uh there's tonka bean in here so that could make some sense but at the end of the day, this thing is kind of musky. It's got a watery tone a little bit, but really more creamy, soapy, clean, herbal, green. A little bit of a saltiness to it. A little bit of a vegetal feel to the fragrance. But at the end of the day, kind of boring, <laughs> honestly. Um, where's the incense? Where's the personality in for, I don't know how much these retail for, probably around 200, maybe more USD. I would have to look that up. Um, not this one, definitely not. As far as off the strip, I cannot vouch for this thing. I'm not very good. Very much um, boring. So first impression of the brand, 
Well, presentation's nice. I like the box. <laughs> I like the bottle presentation. The bottle itself, very th thick. Um, I really like the way the cap goes. Um, lots of detail, really nice. The scent itself, very ho-hum. Nothing I would spend big bucks on. Um, very gray. Um, it's it's almost a scent for somebody that doesn't like scents because it doesn't have much personality to it. It's not showing anything. I, I could see the vegetal, uh, the herbal, um, the cleanness of this thing, kind of creamy. Um, there is some kind of interesting parts, but at the end of the day, there's nothing like incense. I feel none of that. There's no smoke. There's no resin. Um, there's nothing that shows you any backbone. So we'll see what happens when I have it on skin. But at the end of the day, I can't vouch for this one, unfortunately. Um, doesn't stop me from hoping with my dream of their very first release with the rhubarb and dish of wood as the name or the nose behind it. I think that one's going to be good. Um, looking forward to that one. This one, not looking much forward to trying it out. But at the end of the day, that's what I do. Um, they can't all be winners. Uh, however, I'll give it its just due on my skin. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. If you have smelt this release or anything from this brand, anything worth sniffing, please let us know. Um, again, you don't have to agree with me on this release. You can say, Mark, your nose is broken. I think this is a masterpiece. Go ahead. Love seeing different takes on releases. Tell me what I'm missing right now on the strip. Again, it's just on a strip. You never know. Uh, my, my thoughts could change uh, once I'm up to the full fledged review and wore it a little bit more. At the end of the day, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.